What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Chief four and a half inch angle grinder. It is a pneumatic grinder. It's the new line from Harbor Freight. A couple of weeks ago, um, I left a post on Instagram where I asked if anybody had any recommendations for a four and a half inch angle grinder. And this was one of the suggestions. There was some mixed reviews back and forth on it, but I thought, hey, we'll try it. Let's see what happens. So today we're going to be taking a look at this bad boy and see what it'll do. You guys, come on. All right, guys, like I said in the intro today, we're gonna to be looking at the Chief four and a half inch pneumatic angle grinder. The part number is a CH4-5AG. It runs for $99.99 at your Harbor Freight store and We'll show you a little bit about it. Like I say, I just put the airline fitting in it, so it's brand new. I just unboxed it. So we're gonna oil it up, put the air to it, run, you know, just kind of see how it's no load free spin is, uh, RPM ratio, whatever you wanna call it. But it does have a reversible handle. As you can see, you can take it off this side, move it to this side if you want to. And, um, it seems to be a well-built grinder. It has a composite body. It seems to be pretty sturdy, not cheap made. So let's talk about some of the specs on this grinder real quick. It's a quarter inch national pipe thread fitting input on it. It requires four CFMs at 90 PSI. It is a four and a half inch. It has rear exhaust 12,000 RPM max speed. Uh, it is nine and three eighths long, 4.5 pounds, two and three eighths inch wide, and the recommended hose diameter is three eighths of an inch. Like I say, guys, it's brand new. I just took it out of the box, put the grinding disc on there, put the iron line fitting in it, and we will oil it up before we test this bad boy out because it is brand new. A couple of drops of oil in there. And uh, we do have a 3 8 line, and we've got a piece of metal here that we're going to clean up. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. As you can see, it's a pretty good nasty mess. It's been used for a couple of temporary projects around the shop. And we're just going to try to clean this thing up a little bit and make it look a little better so we can use it for some other stuff. All right, guys, like with all grinding or cutting equipment, of course, make sure you wear some PPE, wear some safety glasses. You've only got one shot at your eyes, so you don't want to screw that up. Of course, throw on some gloves. It never hurts to be a little bit careful, even though we are doing, you know, metal work or whatever. A lot of guys are too proud to take care of stuff, but once you lose your eyeballs, you'll be wishing it took a few seconds to put that on. Like I say, it is brand new, so we're going to hook our air hose up to it. See what kind of free spin we got. Sounds good anyway, but the real true test is how does it work. So I'm going to get the camera angled down a little more so we can see this a little better. All right, so we'll start and uh, just see how this thing grinds. All right guys, so it looks like we ground about 10 minutes for this thing. Um, my compressor had no problems at all keeping up with it. I kind of like the way 
that the trigger set up on it because with the gloves on as you guys can see right here flip up on it and <laughs> you're in business you know to be honest we eat for 99 bucks seems to be a very good grinder of course time will tell as far as the longevity of it goes so uh let me kind of show you a little bit about what i did here it worked like i say <clears throat> it's not done by no means but i'm just kind of trying to knock the ugly off of it if you will and you can see it looks a whole lot better than when we started with all those nasty dirt dauber welds all over it but anyway guys that's um that's kind of my first look and first impressions of the chief four and a half inch air grinder i think for 99 dollars you know it's a safe bet you know if you're looking to add an air grinder in your shop um, I know on the box, it recommends 30 plus gallon continuous use. And we have a 60 gallon here and it done fine with that. You know, it never lost any power. It didn't feel like my compressor was straining to keep up with it. So I believe they're firing that. Uh, seven to 29 gallon is intermediate use and one to six gallon is not recommended. And there, the part number is a CH45AG. Take a look at these um, at your Harbor Freight. If you're looking to add an inexpensive four and a half inch pneumatic grinder to your tool arsenal. Like I say, I'll give you guys a follow-up video. We'll be using this thing quite a bit. Um, we have an electric grinder and it's pretty much gone. The brushes are pretty much wore out on it. You kind of have to jump start it sometimes. So. I was kind of in the market for this, and like I said, I did a post on Instagram asking about it, and the, the reviews were about 50-50. Some people said they wasn't any good. Some people said they was. Like I say, this is the first time I got it. I just put it together today, but it feels like good quality. It don't feel cheap. It don't feel junky. So, you know, the true test will be how well will it hold up in the future, and I'll let you guys know, because that's primary, pretty much going to be our primary grinder that we use here. But... Like always guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free, it never costs you guys a dime. Y'all have a great week and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.